the pup. He tore the curtains yesterday and scratched the paper on the wall. Mum's boots too have gone astray. She says she left them in the hall. He ducked the tablecloth and broke a fancy saucer and a cup. Though Bud and I think it a joke, Mum scolds a lot about the pup. The sofa pillows are a sight. The rugs are looking somewhat frayed, and there is ruin left and right that little Boston bull has made. He slept on Buddy's counterpane. Mum found him there when she woke up. I think it needless to explain. She scolds a lot about the pup, and yet he comes and licks her hand, and sometimes climbs into her lap. And there, but lets me understand, he very often takes his nap. And Bud and I have learned to know, she wouldn't give the rascal up. She is really fond of him, although she scolds a lot about the pup. By Edgar A. Guest. Astray, away from the correct path or way of doing things, tugged, pulled something quickly. And with a lot of force, frayed, with the threads at the ends coming loose, Boston Bull, a breed of dog similar to a bulldog, counterpane, bed spread, nap, a short sleep, especially during the day. Say aloud, listen to these words and repeat them: tugged, hugged, shrugged. Stayed, played, prayed, nabbed, warned, turned. The words given above are past tense verbs ending with ed. If the last letter of the verb is a voiced consonant, then the suffix ed is pronounced like d.